Alright everybody, I am back. Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be continuing playing the Chang's Collection. I was hoping to release videos a little bit more frequently this week, but unfortunately I got sick, and actually still kind of am, and I was uh, not able to do anything because... I was in crippling pain and crippling depression. So, uh, but now I feel a little bit better. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Thanks to God for sparing my life. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be back today uh, taking a look at this stuff. So, we have this thing now. It's called, I don't know what, it, I don't know what this is actually. It looks it looks really sus if I'm not if I'm gonna be honest. But so let's go ahead and play it. So this is all of the events that have taken place. So far, it looks like. I'm not really sure what this is. TV. Okay, that's trippy for sure. Oh. Hey. Look at this dude. Get a load of this guy. How do you how do you progress the text? Is it E? I can't progress the text. Okay, I think you have to you have to click. You have to click on the screen. My bad. Okay, so once again, the Antichrist is going to have to present us with a deal that we cannot refuse, most likely. But we already know how that goes, and we will surely refuse that. We're going to have to take a hard, hard pass. The question is, why did he steal, um... that little girl to begin with is he like trying to like traffic her in the underground trying to pimp her out like what's going on what's the what's the reasoning behind this abduction you know what I mean We live millions of lives within millions of, millions of universes. It's kind of trippy, actually. You know, this, um... I was expecting this horror game... Not horror game, horror game, demo disc to be kind of simple and regular, bland, if you would. But it's turning out very deep and thought provoking.
Um, oh, we're back. Okay. We are the key to, um, something here. We are only stuck in this loop because you're too freaking stubborn. The whole universe is looping with you. This wild joyride the four of us are on, it affects everyone. Yeah, man. Sometimes I get stuck in loops. In real life, and I'm like, this is wild, bro. Alright, final choice. Whenever you're ready, you can press this button. You'll, you'll disappear entirely and the world will be reborn without you. You don't have to press it though. You can stay here for as long as you want. Choosing not to make a choice is a choice in its own right. We can keep chatting some more if you want. I do appreciate the company. Been a while since... You know what? I don't want to... I'm not going to do what this guy tells me to do. You know what I mean? Like... I need to get out of here. I don't know how to beat this game in particular, but it looks like it's more of like a walking thing, you know. This is a really thought-provoking one for sure. What if we just keep talking to him? Let's see. Let's we'll see what. Um So if, um, if we press the button, why is he flipping me off, dude? See, that's why I, I'm just going to keep talking to him because I'm not going to press the button, dude. I wonder how many text lines there are here. And if there's a way that we can, like, avoid pressing the actual button. Let's just do this for a second and see what happens. Or, or do I actually have to press the button? Is this actually not going to let me, like, progress? Alright, I think I'm going to have to press the button, you know. I think I'm going to have to do it, guys. I mean, there's no other, uh, there's no other option here. Wait, hold on, the music stopped. No, it's back. Never mind. I thought I was doing something. Alright, last one, I guess. And... Alright, screw this, you know? Like, what if we just... What if I just exit the game without pressing the, uh, the button here? I don't want to press it. I don't care. We're sacrificing ourselves because I don't know what other options I have here. Come on, just get on with it, man. Lucy. Alright, well, we beat this timeline, but... It seems like we can go back. We can actually zoom out as well. Which 
It makes it a little bit easier to move around. I'm thinking let's finish off the rest of this timeline. Okay, and then uh, move over here to uh, the Wyoming timeline or whatever. So let me actually go top top down. So the next thing is going to have to be uh, this game right here. And I'm just going to fast forward it. And pick the other uh, the other option here. Let's see what we have. Back home. Back home. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's play back home. Alright guys, we are back home. So, did the portal work? Are you home? It's my house, but it's different. Everything is wrong. Um... Oh yeah, this is my house, right? There's like a fire outside. Yeah, this does look different. It's an inaccurate depiction. What am I going to have to do here? I don't know. But we're about to... find out. Looks like there's some boxes in here that we're not going to need. This door is locked. This one's open. Wow, that's some big... That's a big bed right there. That's a big boy bed. For sure. Now, what do I do here? Oh, this one's opened on its own. How... How creepy, how scary. I think we're stuck in a loop. Okay, that's not good. Oh, wait. Yeah, we are stuck in a loop. You know what? This is all too familiar. This is all too familiar, man. You know you know that time you get stuck in a, in a loop in real life? Yeah, only, only the real ones know what I'm talking about. Only the real ones know. Okay, now we open this thing beforehand. And I guess the only thing that we can really, like, interact with is the doors. Okay, there's a door in here. I'm just gonna go here. Okay, yeah, this is like the, uh, this is like the back rooms, man. What is that noise? Okay, this is getting weird, man. This is getting out of hand, for real. Someone is like... Someone's making some sus noise noises, bro. I don't know where to... Where, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going here, but... This is getting to be very claustrophobic and spooky. Alright, um... Yeah, this is very much the, uh, the back rooms kind of situation. Very much so. It's getting slightly distorted. Oh yeah, it's getting really messed up. I think it's starting to get really hard to tell like where where you're supposed to go. Actually here. Whoa, okay. Not here, obviously. Not the floating TV room. Oh boy. Okay, here's a door, here's a door. Let's just enter the door. Okay, we can't enter it. Lord have mercy. This is getting this is getting out of pocket, guys. Come on, get me out of here, man. I've had enough of this. Our house doesn't have an attic or a basement. 
Okay, so we can choose where we can go. Alright, y'all, let's go ahead and finish this up. So, I can either go to the basement or the attic. Well, I think the basement, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of basements, they're kind of scary. So, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the attic. Alrighty, so what do we have here for the attic? Well, we have a VHS tape that says Lucy on it. So, that's probably a good sign. Let's go ahead and check out what this game is. Okay, you open the attic door. It's an empty attic with a rotary phone on the floor. The phone begins to ring. You should pick up the phone. Oh, so wait, can we move around? Yes, we can. Um, how do you interact? Oh, unknown caller. Do you pick up? Yes. It is the Antichrist calling me again. I've already talked to this dude like a million times. I'm getting tired of talking with him a little bit. Did I kill him already too? Alright, let's leave, I guess. No? Oh, what? Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Um, I'm interacting with everything here. What the hell? Oh, you can mouse click on stuff. Can I leave? I'm confused. I think this is, I think this game might be uh might be broken actually. Cuz uh something's not right. <sighs> I'm lit literally clicking everywhere. But I can't leave. This reminds me of, like, that jump scare game. That was a meme back in, like, 2013 or something. I don't know. Where it's just, like, a simple game, but then it's just, like, a jump scare out of nowhere. Which is probably not what this is. In fact, I think this game is actually bugged out, because what the hell? I'm literally about to close it and go back. Oh, what? The floorboard is lifted. You jump on it and seem to have done something. You awaken in a forest that seems odd. You've never been here before. Your mind begins to wander. Oh, so there was... Okay, so there was a continuation to... The house that I was at, after all. That must have been Lucy. Let's go. Hey, come back. Come back. Come back, baby girl. Okay, we're we're experiencing the loop phenomenon again. I'm not a fan of loops, I'm not going to lie. Like I've said before, I've I've experienced them in IRL. Not going to go into detail how, but I'll just say that I did and they are not fun. It's more of like a dream. More of like a nightmare, actually. Okay, this actually is cool. This reminds me of... Um... Yume Niki. Um, can I interact? With this individual? No? Yes? Um, I can't go down here. This is it right here. What if we go the other way? Let's see. Let's go up. Let's go up and... Wait, go down. Can I talk to this person? Oh. Person has disappeared. This one too. Uh, what is that? What is this thing? What is this thing supposed to be? Is this like Dark Lucy? Um, 
okay. This game is called Chain 5. What does that even mean? Is that it? Is that the end of the game? Whoa! Did you guys just see that? I had to leave on my system there. I had to leave this app running. I thought it was stuck. I was about to close it again. And I left it on. It was it was like a minute. And then that played. I knew there was going to be a jump scare. Your eyes haven't fully adjusted. But you know that voice. Man we are in. Uh, we are deep in the rabbit hole right now. For sure. This is getting wild. Why am I moving so fast, man? It's your name. It's our neighbor. Um. All right, we're back in the main menu, I guess. That th this game was probably the creepiest one I'd played so far. Like the other games weren't weren't very scary or um unnerving, but this one was a little bit weird. I guess it was thanks to how quiet it was. Usually games that are just dead silent are pretty uh uncanny most of the time. But uh anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this episode, which is gonna be three or part three. And I'm going to be back next time with uh, more, more of this awesome compilation of games. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy and peace out.